Hello there, peach sucks and dudes. I am here today to show you something I've been working on in my absence. In my time away that I have not been live streaming or posting videos, I know it's been a bit, but I'm trying to bring you as many other things that I can for you guys to see. Now this here, they just added prefabs in of the actual castle, and I have been having absolute fun with it. As you can tell, this is, maybe you don't know, maybe you do, but if you go in here, there's like these kind of towers here, and there's some stables, stuff like that. Of course, there's stuff from Happy. There's the main tower there. It's kind of like this dungeon kind of tower. I'm not for sure if this is like quarters or for some of the other townsfolk or castle folk. But anyway, I'm getting off track. My main thing is, is to show you what I have been working on. And I, I will explain everything as much as I can. And I kind of have a surprise towards the end. You guys will notice it's actually southwest so i'm trying not to look that direction so what i basically did you can kind of tell what's prefab and what's not I, i'm pretty dang sure but that's one of the stables right there and then we have this is one of those uh, what i assume is like a dungeon tower slapped one right there and then it, like i said you can see underneath that's three of those that's one prefab right there another one there and another one there and then I slapped the giant tower that we normally see in polar on top of it and I've had a lot of fun trying to figure this out and by fun I mean half stress but half amazing freedom and creativity I added a small ice pond just kind of experimenting I made this little kind of watchtower right here I'm still adding to it I've been adding to it for a little while now off and on in between games or when people want to go play solos or you know maybe they're playing a different game but we're just all chatting and party uh this is actually my little graveyard setup i thought this was kind of a cool thing if i don't get stuck on walls but you know i, I sat there and i used the the pottery as kind of yearns this is like the king and queens you know they're <laughs> they've got to have their space you know but I, was, I just tried to go as medieval as possible. Again, I wanted to show you guys. It's just, it's, I, I'm, I'm patting myself on the back for it. But it for me, it's quite the achievement. It's, you know, creative is really where I can let my imagination flow. And no, before anyone asks, I have never, never, never played Minecraft before. I don't know if I've mentioned that in my other creative videos. But I just recently added this bridge here. This bridge was not here at all. And I'm like, well... I always want to do something with this little ice cave over here, and I kind of turned it into a secret meeting hall. And it, it's got another table, just like the other one does, and I'm not going to run through all the other prefabs or anything, I'm just going to kind of show you what I've been making custom. But yeah, th this is where the little frozen waterfall is, and you can kind of look out there and you see the castle. But I, I again, you know, I've got a little bit of memory, and I'm going to use every bit of memory that I can on this thing, because... My thing is, is I want to create a full world, and yes, I know this cannot be placed on the block, but you know what, this can be featured. And maybe this will got, you know, maybe this will get your imagination flowing, what you want to make in your creative. But honestly, I just, I wanted to share in my amazement of not only what Fortnite brings, but in myself of what I can build. Now, as I've rambled on, you guys have been probably thinking in the back of your head, what's what what's going on cuz he he just keeps looking southwest and there there's there's a surprise behind him well i i'm i'm here to show you that surprise we're going to go up here to the top of the castle and i will show you okay you ready 3 2 1 and oh my goodness there's a giant ice dragon in here yes you 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 are not seeing things guys I literally took the time because there has been hints and there has been all kinds of I, I'm not I, I don't want to say clickbait because it's not all clickbait there is some truth to it there's somebody that got into the frozen section underneath the main tower like when you see the main tower in regular royale 
that underneath there's on the ledge there's like this little path that leads to kind of a dungeon kind of like a stable area and there looks to be what we might be considering dragon eggs and I just ran with that idea and it's not even completely all coming in as I as I come in it, it'll all form in better there we go now if you're wondering no that is not that's not regular fire that's quote unquote ice fire and as you can see the whole body the main structure is made out of the blue antenna poles I had fun with these spikes I thank you Trove for pointing those out literally pointing pun okay I'll stop that they looked like dragon claws and I literally just took that idea and I ran with it all of this was just out of my skull from that one idea that he said and I used the banners as the wings I used the glowy blocks for not only the eyes but the ice fire is what I call it because I figure you know a, a blue dragon in snow is not going to be spitting regular fire it's going to be spitting ice fire and then I took the shiny blue blocks, which I also used in my waterfall, if any of you guys have seen that video. Don't mind that over there. That won't be there if and when I'm featured or if and when you guys play here. But I basically just took it and ran with it, and I made this. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but see how there's like this blue lined hue all the way around it? I will try and get another clip of when it gets nighttime, but guys... I, I thought it was impressive myself with just the glowing, but when I slapped all those blue blocks in there, it created this blue glow at nighttime, and it really, really gives off a fire ice breathing effect. But, again, I just, I know I'm patting myself on the back, and I know I'm giving myself praise, but I feel like I deserve it, okay, in this instance. This is the weird stuff that I make that comes out of my own brain. And see, the, this this giant looming dragon over here just, just encompasses that castle and makes it look so small. Just so, so small. And Hitman, if you watch this video, yes, that is one of your banners over there you decided to mess with. Joke's on you, I left it over there. <laughs> But I, I will hopefully, slowly but surely, add more to this. But like I said, I'm going to try and use every bit of memory I can on building a castle. I already have weapon spawns. I have person spawns, you know, throughout. So that way you can just come in, start a game, and you're good to go. So I hope everybody enjoys. I hope everybody's enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, a share, a comment, something. Again, I really hope this sparks your imagination to run wild trove and i have been working on his own castle which we started building his on one of the block servers of his you think this castle's big guys his castle is like twice if not three times the size the, the we put a moat around it all kinds of stuff uh, hopefully i can do a video on that here in in the coming weeks you know but peace hoaks and dudes I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you stay awesome. Have an awesome day. You know, and maybe I'll have an update video here for you. I'll try and get this at nighttime, hopefully here, soonish when the sun goes down. I'm trying to leave it in the same video, so don't go away just yet. Alright, see you guys later. Okay guys, so here is the dragon at nighttime, and as you can see, there's this giant blue aura around this thing, and I absolutely love that this worked out the way I was hoping it would, with the shiny blue blocks in with the glowing, well that's actually blue, I know it probably looks white, but I'm just... Again, I'm amazed that it worked out the way it did. And I, I actually had the, the stained glass windows over here. Uh, let me find them real quick right here. Those kind right there for the eyes. But they just, they didn't really show up. And so I went with the glowing and I, I feel like it's a lot better. I'm glad I got that clip. It's just now changing back over today and I almost missed that clip. I got so busy building. I actually just started this. So there's going to be another little watchtower thing up here. And uh, believe it or not, I, I got kind of fancy over here. And this, I don't know if you guys can see it. 
but I made it like a perched owl. The the openings here are the eyeballs, and of course that being the back wings. So I thought that'd be kind of fun to do. I know it. You're thinking like owl. I, I just see I just see boxes, but I don't know. I, I try and get creative. You guys have seen, pun intended. You know, like with my dragon that I tried to make the pupils move and stuff like that. So I really try and add that to my stuff. But peace, soaks and dudes. I'll see you later.